Act, Cap 267, into one, which will now be referred to the National Rating Act. Uh, and as I said, uh, providing a comprehensive and uniform legislative framework that will regulate how all our county governments across the country uh, levy rates and uh, other uh, levies that they may be levying to property owners. The bill, Honorable Speaker, also seeks to uh, synchronize the terms and definitions uh, in line with the current definitions uh, on uh, valuation of rentable property, uh, current practice, Honorable Speaker, because these two acts, the valuation for rating act, CAP 266 and CAP 267 of the rating act, uh, refer to definitions and the things that were done back then. But uh, as with all other professions, even in the valuation uh, uh, profession, those of us uh, who have studied land economics and those who are valuers know that there are new terms and definitions in the industry, and therefore this bill seeks also to align to that. It also seeks to identify uh, the mechanisms on how our county governments shall undertake valuation for rating and position of rates on rateable property to reflect the powers, as I said, that were intended under Article 2093A for counties to impose property taxes or property rates, adhering to Article 10 of the Constitution on Values and Principles of Governance, Article 232 of the Constitution to ensure there is conformity to the values and principles of public service, and of course to Article 232 to conform to the principles of public finance. Honorable Speaker, this bill will also provide for the establishment of the National Rating Tribunal that will be responsible for resolution of disputes relating to property rating. Honorable Speaker, today, if the county government of Nairobi or the city uh, government of Nairobi imposed rates uh, on uh, the Honorable Robert B, who uh, now owns quite a number of properties, uh, in uh, Mbakasi South <laughs> and uh, the Honorable Mbui felt that they were being unfair. He has no, no recourse and therefore we are creating a recourse so that the Honorable Robert Mbui, if he feels his investments in Kathiani uh, are <laughs> uh, rated better than those in uh, Mbakasi South then we have somewhere a tribunal that he can walk to and appeal to. Therefore, we will create that mechanism for him through this bill. We also enhance the use of appropriate technology in undertaking valuation for rating and rating-related purposes on the speaker. You know, uh, in the past, you had to walk uh, the miles to be able to identify where particular land parcels are. Today, with modern technology and with uh, geo-positioning uh, technology, we can be able to use geo-positioning technology to be able to identify exactly where a piece of land is. Uh, I will say, Honorable Speaker, you will find uh, billionaires who own land in our slum areas. But because the title reads uh, Mukuru Kwa Jenga or Mukuru Kwa Ruben, and maybe that Mukuru Kwa Ruben is, is a title that, or the description of the area that is reading that, but you find with time, South B Estate or Plainsview has now grown into some of those formerly uh, slum areas. And therefore, the value, the value of land in that area is not as accurate as it was 10 years ago, Honorable Speaker. But with modern technology, you'll be able to geoposition that particular land reference number and know exactly where is this land. You can even be able to estimate the actual size of any size of land. And this technology Honorable Babu, we know order. Honorable Babu, we know. This is not uh, embakasi. You do not just cross the floor like that. <laughs> Thank you. You know, Honorable Babu, you know, might be imagining he's in Jakaranda grounds. <laughs> but we must forgive him because he has asked, uh, he was just released the other day from police cells. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, I was saying with modern technology, it is possible to even be able to now, with geopositioning, estimate, the, not actually estimate, get the actual size of land without land values having to go and using very rudimental technology to value land. And therefore, this bill now also creates uh, that opportunity for us to be able to use modern technology in undertaking valuations because technology also enhances fairness and certainty. And therefore, unlike in the past where you have to talk uh, what in Kenyan parlance they say is kuongea na chai ama kitu kidogo 
to value us, to be able to value land for you appropriately. Now you 